The gospel confronts So when you're, you're dealing with someone who is outside of Christ, you're dealing with someone who's hostile. The gospel is explained, preached, in the face of opposition all the time. And you see over and over and over again, this happens when those who are ambassadors of Christ go to them, go to the people who need it, and go out. It's an outward thing, not vice versa. Like developing appealing things in a kind of neutral atmosphere, or a neutral space, and hoping that they'll just come to us. Or even thinking further, that I can't, I shouldn't preach the gospel until somebody seems like they want to hear it. That's just foolishness. It's ridiculous. It, it, it completely misunderstands the nature of the gospel and what it is, confronting the sinner. But we've gotten into these types of things in our comfortable Christianity, our seeker-sensitive Christianity, that's really in a lot of ways not biblical at all. You see over and over and over again the gospel going and confronting culture, going to the people out there in multiple contexts. But the point is it's, it's outward. It's to them. It's taking it to them. But again, I think we, by and large... Not a blanket statement that every single person, but there is a mass majority that have bought into this comfortable evangelism or whatever it is. And they back away. They even say, oh, that's going to be a hostile environment. So I'm not going to go there. I am ten- intentionally not going to go there. That's what happened this past weekend. There were people who said it was going to be a hostile environment on Saturday. So they chose to gather Friday night. But it's very worrisome when we say, no, that's a hostile environment, so I'm not going to go there. We'll gather here to do this, but we won't do that. We won't do what Paul did. We won't do what the prophets did. We won't do what Jesus did. Again, are we ashamed of the gospel? 